Yeah. And I'll still keep making jokes. <laughs> um, it's like it's your job. Hell yeah. Kelly, how's it going? Hey. Hey, hey guys. Hey. Hi. I got a question for you. All right. I asked Rocco this a while ago, and I thought he gave a really interesting answer, so I'd love to hear your guys' uh, answers on this as well. Uh, I asked him how he builds confidence. And Rocco, maybe you could give like a quick recap of uh, what you said. Jeez, I don't even remember what I said. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, I don't know. Gosh, I'm trying to think. Like my own confidence? Like yeah, like your just your attitude uh, towards life in general, I and like remember. just getting out there and doing things. Oh, do you remember? I think with me, maybe this is what I said. I'm really trying to. Sometimes I say a lot of stuff as I feel it. But I may not have it committed to, you know, pen and paper um, necessarily. But I think what I probably said was, for, and, and at least for me, how I build confidence, I always think in terms of, you know, there are a billion people out there who want to be successful or famous or whatever. Where do I fit in with them? And I think to myself, if at any point right now I quiet down or I don't take the risk or I don't take the chance, I'm immediately worse than all of them. Like, like I can't, how can you look at all of that around you and think to yourself, oh, I, I just lay low and it'll be fine. Like to me, the second I re the second I do that, I've lost. Like, you know what I mean? I, I see all that and I just think, you know, why, how can you be lazy and think that you're still good enough to get that success if everyone else wants it? Does that make sense? And so I think that the, the reason that I give myself confidence is I'm, I just put myself in that situation. I go, well, don't you want to be successful? Yeah, you do. Okay. Well, you know a billion other people want that too, right? Yeah. So how are you going to make yourself do that? And I think, well, then I can't be lazy. Okay. Then you can't be shy. Okay. And I just eliminate those options. I mean, that's, uh, is that kind of what I said? Does that make sense? Yeah. Uh, it also had a good uh, metaphor about uh, a pie. <laughs> yeah. I don't remember. <laughs> now that metaphor. I do not remember. The, the way I see it is... Be right up in front and get the pie. Yeah. Well, wait, what, was, what did I say about <laughs> yeah, pie? Yeah, Derek, that's exactly right. What did I say about I'm just reading what Derek. Jordan Jones oh. said. Oh. <laughs> you said everyone's, everyone's trying to get a piece of the pie, so why would you be in the back of the room not where the pie is. Yeah. You want to be up up right there in front with the pie so you can take exactly. the thing. Exactly. I just think, why do that? Or, or go, well, I'm going to take a nap, but hopefully there'll be pie in three hours. Like, you you have eliminated yourself. That's it. So why think that way? To, to me, for me to be like, oh, I don't know. Gosh, I'm, I'm shy. Okay, then you're eliminated from what, then you're not going to get what you want. Be cool with that. Are you cool with that? Oh, you're not? Then stop being fucking shy. That's yeah. That's what I said, roughly. <laughs> the way I see it is uh, always try to stay out of your comfort zone. The second you are comfortable, you aren't going anywhere. You have to do things that you aren't comfortable, you're, you're nervous about doing. Because if you do that more often, you'll, that'll be your, your new normal and you can move it up and up and up and up. Yeah, and you will, you will always, I think an important thing to always remember, you will always mentally fight the things that move you forward. You will always go, ah, no. You will, that, 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 that is the natural reaction to things that move you forward. And, and you have to accept that that's what happens. That's a normal thing. And you have to go, oh, yeah, okay, and push through that. That's in my opinion. Derek? Sean, how do you build your confidence? What's your secret? Well... In middle school, I had no confidence, zero confidence. And by the time that I was just trying so hard to be cool that I wasn't cool. <laughs> and then by the time it was like ninth, 10th grade, I finally realized like, I'm not gonna fucking try to be cool. I don't, I mean, I guess I still will, but like, you know, like I wasn't like focused on that. I wasn't so concerned about like, I gotta wear the coolest clothes, I gotta do this. I was like, I'm just gonna kinda be me, and if people like that, great. And then I'll have real, true friends. And if they don't, whatever, I don't care. That was like high school me, and now the more and more I've gotten older, like I've looked back on my life, I can think of like 2004 or whatever, like seeing things like, oh yeah, I was just trying to be cool. I like really 
wanted to be cool and people think that but now it's like I I guess my confidence got built up by just everyone I think is at the same place in their lives when they're a certain age and by the time they grow up they always look back 10 years ago and it's like wow I was a fucking I, I didn't know what I was doing I was a loser I, you know, I, just, I just felt like and I think that in 10 years from now, I'll look back to where I am at this moment, thinking like, oh, I didn't know anything. I think you just, you never stop. Uh, am I losing people? Is this, is this, am I making points here? I don't know. Uh, I have no confidence in what I'm saying. Um, no, I, I just feel like you, you just, you have to stop trying to be cool and just live in the moment is the thing that I learned the most. And honestly, what's changed for me in the last couple of years is like, now that I am a dad, I look at it thinking like, I thought my dad was the coolest, like my dad was my hero when I was a kid. And I see them looking at me that same way and it's like, well, I'm not gonna let them down. Like I'm gonna live up to what they expect me to be. And so I'm gonna be the best possible person with most confidence with everything for them because that's how I viewed my dad and that's what he did for me. And so that is what I think has helped me in the last couple of years. Good night. There you go. Oh, Derek. No, I want uh, I want to hear Derek's answer if he has one. Uh, and, Bri and Brian, because Brian seems like, <laughs> no offense, but possibly the most confident one at go. all of you. He's too Brian's too confident. Brian, Brian, Brian should confident. be the only one here giving out secrets, because yeah, really. he has more confidence he's, than anyone. He's the one who said I was being a bitch to me, like the first the first time I met him. So uh, I did. There you go. <laughs> I don't, I don't well, I came, I came to see so I was being a bitch. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> What's your secret to oh, your overwhelming funny. confidence, Brian? My overall, it's pretty obvious, isn't it? Your looks? <laughs> your big old thong? <laughs> your big old massive balls you got? It speaks for itself. No, um... Mustache. Uh, mustache. <laughs> that's the hardest part uh, of being uh, me. Uh, uh, no, uh, I think a lot of my confidence comes from uh, not giving a shit about what other people say and trusting what I think. Uh, I, th I think that kind of what Sean was saying earlier, when I was a kid, I thought I was the goofiest, most annoying, dumb looking and idiotic person ever. And I, I reveled in my ability to annoy people. I was really good at, I, I still am annoying people. Um, so as I got older, I kind of realized that I was good at talking to people. Uh, for the most part, apparently sometimes I call people bitches. Uh, I don't remember do it. Uh, <laughs> other times I hand out peanuts at conventions and then realize that people might have peanut allergies and that you shouldn't just be handing out peanuts to people. Uh, but what I, I hand out <laughs> muffins to people without. <laughs> what was that? Oh, you weren't there. N nothing. Okay. Um, <laughs> but really, I I I think what it comes from my confidence comes from looking at myself in the mirror go. and, and going, hey, you, you turned out all right. You aren't a goofy looking kid anymore. You aren't ugly. You, you can talk to most people. And with that, you can do anything that you decide you want to do. So anything, you, anything I don't do is because I've chosen not to do it. So you do, I feel my confidence comes from my ownership of everything that I do. If I've done or said something, I'm never gonna be like, no, I didn't, or no, I, I, I would never do something like that. My response will always be like it was with you right now. Oh, I said that? I'll either apologize if I honestly feel bad for it, or I will continue with my original standpoint. So I, my confidence just comes from trusting that I'm not gonna make a dumb decision, because hey, I've gotten this far, and I'm not dead. I don't have kids out of uh, wedlock. Uh, I've never gotten a girl pregnant ever and had to deal with that. Um, so I'm, I feel like I'm pretty good. I got good friends. Hey, it's not bad. You know, they're pretty honest with me. And, uh, and I think my confidence comes from, from just being able to trust myself and uh, holding a standard uh, to myself and not letting that uh, break for anything. Yeah. So, and I'm the most handsome person, so. That's what you got. Hey, if you want confidence, just be the most handsome person yeah. in the room. Kelly, can you be more handsome? Everywhere you go. Yeah. <laughs> just ask anyone. I mean, like, I mean, these guys all look good, but. Um. <laughs> Come on. 
Building confidence for me, I like to think of it more as manufacturing confidence, which is to say, I don't have any confidence, but I'm just going to uh, come up with some fake confidence right now as quickly as possible and fake it until you make it and eventually you'll believe it. I think that having low self-esteem comes from certain fears, mostly just about not being good enough in a certain way. Maybe you think you're ugly or stupid, you don't have anything interesting to say, or maybe it's just something weird. You can't define it, but you just think like, I'm just different from most of the people I find and there's just something off about me. I used to think that a lot and it was kind of crippling. Uh, when I was in high school, especially when I first started high school, I was very shy and like couldn't talk to people. But then I almost realized, I think that that is a common feeling. I think everybody wrestles with those fears. And once you realize that, that everybody feels that way about themselves, everybody has the potential to be those things, we're almost on an equal playing field. Really, confidence is left to those people who just choose not to fall into those things. Uh, I studied drama and it was very helpful for me to think of uncomfortable situations as a performance where I needed to play a part and not be Derek Acosta, but be somebody else. So I like to assume roles. I like to think, you know, what would my role model do in this situation and kind of be that and just at the end of the day, all you need, all that's expected of you in life is to just be there and not be mean. So if nothing else, if you can do that, you'll be all right. And uh, also realize that you're not alone in the world. There's people out there who love you. If you have a girlfriend or even a best friend or even a mom, just think about somebody who thinks you're really awesome and you'll, at least for me, not feel so much pressure to impress strangers because you've already got people who are close to you. What more could you need? Now you're just having fun. That's right. All I, those people hate me though. I agree. Oh. I can't use that. I agree. Uh, no, I agree. Actually, on that same note, I wanted to say, Back out, and, you know, this is going to sound maybe a little sappy, whatever, but you guys out there watching, you know, there are plenty of times that I do feel stupid or I may lose confidence. You don't know how many times that I've even thought of you guys out there where I realize, hey, you know, I work on something that all these people appreciate and you guys show it always. And I will think of that and go, hey, I look stupid here. I don't give a shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I've got my own place where this will be appreciated and don't forget that. For you know example, I mean? when we first started doing dance parties at conventions, yeah. I felt really stupid. <laughs> and you will never find, I, I dare you, maybe it's out there, but you'd be very hard pressed to find a footage of me doing a dance party where I'm not covering up my face <laughs> in some way. But to me, it plays into this part of not being Derek. I can put a mask on and I can dance like the biggest fucking idiot in the world because this is not who I am on a regular basis. Like you could stop me on the street. You would never think I was that guy with the mask on being a jackass. And that really helps the power to like detach yourself from the moment you're you're in and remember like what I'm doing right now doesn't define me as a person. This is just a snapshot. Like exactly, I, yeah. I can do whatever yeah. I want. Yeah. Anytime you wake up and start your day, you can be a whole new person. It's really up to you. Yeah. There you go. Perfect. I, I definitely feel the same way as you, Derek, as far as fake it till you make it. And it's like, you just have to sort of build it up and yeah. It, it, yeah. Anybody could instantly improve the way they look. Just, you know, throw your shoulders back and have good posture. That will make you so much more attractive than just being slumping over and being awkward. So really so much comes down to like a mental state. It's yeah. Yeah. just definitely. Just, yeah, just give Baking up give up all that negative is shit. Just as good as actually having it. <laughs> Mind blow. <laughs> Thank you for your call, Kelly. <laughs> Great question. Thanks guys. Have a good night. You all too. Right.